to get enough. From Liverpool, England. <laughs> Leading contender for the British bantamweight crown. Impeccable illustration of gladiatorial heroism, John Farrell. And his opponents occupying the blue corner, scaling eight stone, eight and a half pounds, wearing white trunks with red band and pipings from Marrickville, Australia. Classic fisting adaptation of Rambo. International Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jeff Fennick. <laughs> Proud beneficiary of God Legacy is non-scoring referee, former welterweight champion of Australia, Alan Moore. <laughs> Ringside judges, his brother, also former holder of the Australian welterweight diadem, Paul Moore. Eddie Francis, Cyril Cairns. Well, there he is. Uh, he's plenty busy too already, Johnny Farrell as he uh, shadow boxes around there warming himself up for uh, the fight of his life a chance to uh, lay down uh, a crack at the title held by jeff fennick referee alan moore gives instructions protect yourselves at all time do you hear me do you hear me right away you go well they're short and sweet uh, barry michael uh, usually that short well actually no they're not uh, not mike but uh, they're both professional they, they both know what it's all about so uh why, uh, why slow up the proceeding? Let them get into it. And out they come for round one to do just that. This fight, very important for both. Fennec must win here tonight uh, to keep up his record. Eight wins, all by knockout. John Farrell, he must win uh, to get a shot at Fennec's title. And if uh, he happens to beat Jeff Fennec tonight, and I don't think uh, Fennick could deny him a crack at the title some way down the track. Well, Jeff Fennick won the title off a uh, South Four in Satoshi Shingaki at the Horden Pavilion. And he faces another South Four tonight in John Farrell. Against, uh, against Shingaki, Alan, the uh, South Four stance didn't seem to bother Jeff one little bit. I was uh, actually it was the first time I'd seen Jeff in action since his, his amateur days. And I was... Uh, very, very impressed with his power and his precision. He was, uh, he really chopped the Japanese up. Well, both of these boys uh, having had impressive amateur records. Jeff Fennick, the unlucky character at the Olympics. Johnny Farrell having boxed for England. And uh, when you box for England, uh, you, you are top draw. Well, it's obvious, Mike, that he knows his way around the, uh, around the ring. He's, he's, he's fought in uh, quite a few different countries as an amateur. And uh, no doubt that experience, uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see that experience as about progresses. And as I said, very proud of the fact, with all his experience overseas, he's never been beaten uh, when fighting out of Britain. So he's not certainly not going to be overawed by the, uh, the huge crowd here supporting Jeff Fennick. That's a pretty amazing record, really, Mike. But so I think he's already starting to feel the strength of, uh, of uh, Jeff. But, you know, Jeff's enormously strong for a bantamweight. This, this guy actually reminds me a little bit of uh, the Scottish lightweight champion I fought, who was a South for a few years ago, Dave McCabe. I think uh, this, this guy's never been knocked off his feet, uh, or I think knocked down, but I think uh, he might have the job in front of him against such a powerful opponent as Jeff tonight. Well, they're in round one. Both boys clinching. Right, I stop. Stops as yeah. Alan Moore break. They do so. <laughs> Left hand from Fennec. Farrell having a good look at the uh, IBF World Bantamweight Champion. Fennick tries to go after Farrell, but Farrell quickly under the uh, swinging Let punches of Jeff Fennick. Oh, Fennick got him on the break. Good the punch right by Fennick there. The right hand over the top from, uh, from Farrell went over the head of Jeff Fennick. 30 seconds to go in the first round. Sitting here at ring ringside, I can feel the difference in strength between these two guys. Uh, Jeff is so much stronger than, uh, than John Farrell. I think Farrell's actually very surprised at how he's... Uh, 
how strong his world champion opponent is. 14 seconds to go in the round. Jeff Fennick jabbing out the left hand. Farrell the southpaw on the back move. They both had a good look at each other in round one with the seconds ticking away. Bit of dodging and weaving. Didn't like them one bit. I think, I think Farrell was, was surprised at how strong and how hard punch, uh, Jeff uh, Fennick punched. Well, we'll see what happens in round two. What would be the plan for John Farrell, Barry being the south force? Well, I would think that uh, against an opponent like, opponent like Jeff Fennick, he'd, he'd try to use that right jab and get on his bike a little bit and keep him away. But uh, it's easier said than done when you've got somebody that's, uh, you know, Jeff's a good boxer and a good fighter as well. He works his way on with the left jab. And then he, once he gets in close, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to keep him out, believe me. And on the break, uh, Fennick scored with a couple of scoring punches. Farrell's had a chance. He's had three minutes of the first round and a few seconds in round two to have a look at Jeff Fennick. Fennick doesn't care there for this uh, business in close. He wants to push uh, Farrell out of the way and get into him. Farrell's not interested in that in close stuff. He's, uh, he's finding Jeff far too strong in there. He, he should be trying to slot that jab in that left hand, but uh, at the moment he doesn't seem to be, uh, be too, too effective with it. Jeff, Jeff seems to be picking his right jab off quite easily and landing with his own left jab, which is, uh, I've always found very difficult to do against the southpaw. Well, we wonder about the punching power of John Farrell. He's had uh, 12 fights. He's won 10, drawn one and only lost one. It was against uh, the lightweight where he gave away so much weight. But uh, he's only had five knockout wins, which might tell us he just might not be that strong a puncher. I well, think... His eyeballs there, Barry, were rattling in their sockets as those body punches came home from Jeff Fennick. Oh, oh, good punch from Fennick. Oh, he caught him with a right clip. Mike, you notice the same thing as me. He definitely didn't like those uh, a series of hard body punches from Jeff. Uh, Deep punch as I said, hands. Jeff, very strong in there. A good, good body puncher and a good head puncher. Referee Alan Moore gets them the break. Fennick had uh, Farrell over towards the neutral corner. Fennick strong, jabs the left hand on, oh, knocked uh, Farrell's head nearly off his shoulders. And it didn't look to be all that strong, but Farrell felt it. He times that left jab beautifully, Jeff. It's one thing I've noticed that uh, he's developed since his amateur days. He's got a, he's got a left jab, it's like a right cross. It's really got some kick in it. Oh, punching by uh, Fennick. Oh, Farrell's holding on in round two. Fennick let the combinations go and he clipped the Englishman. He's clipped him again. Farrell shaking the head. He's trying to get a little bit of uh, clear vision. Pretty game stuff, but believe me, he was hurt badly. Beautiful left and right from Jeff Fennick there. John Farrell in against an opponent who I think is uh, by far the hardest puncher he would have encountered in his... Uh, Heaps in round two, and uh, I haven't seen Fennick begin a fight as quickly as this. Uh, not in his fight against Shingagi when he won the title, or his uh, first bout afterwards against Matty Enzi. He hasn't begun as quickly as this. No, he's looking very well at the moment, Mike. He's putting his punches together well. Farrell uh, just doesn't seem to be able to command uh, enough respect with his punching power to, uh, to keep Jeff at bay. We're in round three. After Farrell caught plenty for his corner in the second round, Fennick was well on target. He's got after Farrell again. Farrell's come back. He tried to clip, uh, clip Fennick. Fennick's going to punch up. He doesn't care too much for this clinching business. Farrell wants to clinch. Fennick doesn't. And on the break, he lets a flurry of blows go. Oh, he de he's definitely feeling those body punches from Jeff, as well as those head punches. But those body punches in there, you can see Farrell doesn't want to borrow that, that close-in work. He's trying to keep away. He's trying to get on his bike. But uh, Jeff on top of him like a tax collector. Well, Farrell, when he gets in close, is prepared to clinch. Fennick, he doesn't care too much for the clinching. He wants to get on with it. Farrell's dropped his hands back towards centering. I don't think he knows what to do, John Farrell. He's absolutely bamboozled at the moment. He doesn't know where to go. He's trying to move now. He's trying to flick out that right jab. That's his, uh, the best tactics he could, he could employ against Jeff. But it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be difficult to keep Jeff at bay. Get out. Referee Alan Moore telling the boys to get out of it. Farrell again, boy. He's, he's taken some, some terrific shots from Jeff Bennick. And uh, he's, he's definitely a game, game boy. Fennick going after Farrell. He's not showing uh, any respect for Farrell's punching power. Just under one and a half minutes to go in the third round. I think uh, I think Jeff's, Jeff's broken his heart already because uh, Farrell has hit Jeff with uh, possibly his best shots and Jeff hasn't even blinked. Oh, into the body oh. again goes Fennick. Crushing blow downstairs. Beautiful right to the body from Jeff. Blow. Farrell in quite a bit of, bit of bother at the end of this third round. 
Well, Barry Michael is uh, as Farrell shell shot. Oh, he shell shot there. He went at the knees. He's hurt. He's Fenix going hurt. after him. Farrell trying to fight back, but he buckled at the knees. Oh. He's holding on to Fenix. At this stage, Alan, it appears only a matter of time, I think. You know, it's only the third round. It's ten rounds is a long time. Farrell's really got the job in front of him here. Farrell trying to stay in this contest. Has no answers at the moment. Fennec cooling the shots. The power of Fennec is taking its toll, even in the third round. The body punching of Fennec with 25 seconds to go in the third round has been damaging. Fennec trying to have him up against the ropes. The strength of Jeff, Jeff Fennec is phenomenal. It's the first time I've sat at rings on watching fight as, he's, as a world champion. And I'm very impressed with his, his strength and his punching power. He's a, he's a dynamo. The, the, the Brisbane crowd here will no doubt love Jeff. Dying seconds. Being handed out by Jeff Fennec. He's gone after him. He's hitting him everywhere. He's hitting with the good punches to the head, round the body there. And you're saying, Barry Michael, just how impressed you are with uh, our IBF World Bantamweight champ. Well, as I said, as I said, Mike, it's the first time I've sat at ringside and watched Jeff since he's been world champion. His power is phenomenal. This, uh, this, this British opponent, Farrell, I think he's, he, you know, he's shell shocked, all right? He's in a lot of trouble. In round four. It's been all Fennec so far in the first three rounds. John Farrell still on his feet, trying to work out the IBF World Bantamweight Champion. Fennec giving him no room to move. And on the break goes uh, Farrell and Fennec stands his ground. And the right hand was a good punch. Farrell's over towards Fennec's corner. Punches his way out. But he's only out of trouble momentarily because the left hand of Fennec catches him. Like a miniature uh, Jake LaMotta or uh, Rocky Graziano, young Jeff, he rips him in and hooks him in. Oh, very impressed, I am. Very impressed. Bit of claret starting to come from Farrell's nose. It's not surprising. But he's never been knocked off his feet, John Farrell. Never been knocked out. He's a tough game boy, all right. But he's got plenty of class, he's got plenty of ability, you can see that. Against a lesser opponent, uh, he'd no doubt do well. But uh, at the moment, he's uh, he's getting chopped to pieces in there against Jeff Fennec. Well, he doesn't know where to go, Farrell. Every time he starts to think of getting a breather, Fennec's at him. He's like a blue cattle dog. Just at you all the time. Must be very disheartening for Farrell. He just can't keep Jeff at bay. He's on him, as I said, he's on him like a tax collector. Halfway through round four, on his bike, whereas normally you get the southpaw, jabbing out his right hand, trying to keep his opponent at bay. Oh, the right's gone into the stomach. Farrell's gone down. There's he's always a lot person. of trouble, this boy. It's the first time he's been knocked down in his career, and I don't think it's going to be the last somehow in this bout. Oh, the right hand from Fennec. Farrell's in all sorts of bother now. Farrell was hurt with a body blow over towards the neutral corner. He went down at Fennec. Into the stomach again goes Fennec. John Farrell's wondered what he struck here tonight at Brisbane's Festival Hall. Can Fennec put him away? Farrell's never been knocked out. He's never been knocked down until tonight. The power of Fennec. The body shots are no doubt going to finish him, I would say, Alan. Uh, you can only take, if, you, if you're being hurt in the body, it, 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 get, it gets easier and easier to be hurt. I think after that knockdown, you'll find that uh, Jeff will no doubt finish this fight within the distance. 15 seconds to go in round four. Fennec looking as strong as a bull. Farrell looked like he's been hit with a steamroller. Left hand from Fennec on the break. Still looking for that big one downstairs. As the bell goes, they're into torrid round four. He was decked well and truly decked for the second occasion in his, in his career. The punch that really precipitated that was a huge body punch from Jeff Fennec. That was the finish of it, that uh, right hand. But there was a, a body punch that you heard from Brisbane. Uh... He's in with the world champion. There's a big opportunity for him. He's, uh, he's no doubt letting it slip away. And uh, I don't think there's much he can do about it at this stage, Mike. He just doesn't have the punching power. And uh, as you say, Jeff Fennec just keeps walking up and walking up. Comes after you like Paul Keating. <laughs> <laughs> Round six. It's been uh, trouble for John Farrell here tonight. 
It was put down in the fourth round, put down in the fifth round, and I do venture to say that it was the bell that saved him at the end of round five. He was knocked down with only 10 seconds to go in the round, set up with a body punch, the right hand over the top, put him down, and uh, the bell saved him. Panic bounded out of the corner at the start of the sixth round. He's the game boy, he's still, got, he's still got a lot of fight left in him. He's very fit, but uh, I think it's only a matter of time before he loses that... Uh, but uh, distinction have never been knocked out in his career. I think it's only a matter of time before he stops. Farrell doesn't know where to go. Farrell getting away from Fennick. Fennick's going after him. Picking him off at will. Can Farrell hold on? Fennick trying to finish him off over towards his own blue corner. What a Farrell. powerhouse, Fennick. He's, he's, he's like a do human dynamo. He's on... Uh, He's on Farrell oh, like, a, like a dog with a piece of meat, he is. John Farrell, to his credit, hanging in in round six. He has caught plenty here tonight. No one's doubting his courage, his gameness, or his fitness. But how do you keep away Jeff Fennick? I say this is the strongest phantom weight that uh, Farrell has come across in some time, probably in his career. I don't stop. There's, there's, Amateur or professional. There's little doubt about yeah. that, Alan. He's lost to the sixth and never being knocked off his feet. Time off, please. Now, the bootlace has come undone Bring from uh, John Just Farrell. Double knot, quick. A bit of respite for John Farrell there, but uh, move, not going to help him a great deal, I wouldn't think, at this stage. Round six. Farrell fighting back. Hit Jeff with a good left and right there, but there Jeff... Go. Uh, there go, John. Oh, Jeff. Punching up in close. The right hand from Farrell. Trying to try and find some range with his right hand lead. Try to keep Fennick away. Or oh, the right into the body was another crucial blow. Farrell fighting back off the ropes. Clip with a nice left hand on the break. 25 seconds to go in the round. Oh, beautiful right hand from Jeff Fennick. Farrell's going to be possibly saved by the bell again here. He's Appeared to be in a lot of trouble there. Oh, he's a tough boy, believe me. Ten seconds to go in round six. Jeff Fennick after John Farrell. John Farrell, full of tenacity. He has caught plenty, but he's kept going. And he's given, given this uh, big crowd of Festival Hall plenty to cheer about. He's as game as they come. Fennick trying to put him away. To you can get it from Mitchell's Bass saw the State Sports Centre where the battle will be held. And I must say, uh, Barry Michael, they'll be queuing up, uh, I'd reckon, on Sunday night. I think they certainly will, Mike. Uh, and I, believe me, I pity uh, poor Satoshi Shingaki. He must be a brave man to take a rematch against this guy, this human dynamo, Jeff Fennick. Well, if anything, he seems to like South Force. He does. The South Force style hasn't, uh, hasn't perturbed him one bit at all. He just punched holes through Farrell's defence. He's outmaneuvered him. He's even outboxed him. Farrell going out. Going in after everything at round seven. Farrell's right. Oh, the right hand from Fennick was a ripper. He's punching up in close. Farrell came out at the start of the seventh round. He tried to go on with it. He doesn't get any peace. Fennick won't let him have peace. Yeah, big mouse developing under the right eye, as you said, Barry, of uh, John Farrell. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all, Mike. His face is starting to look like chopped liver, actually. I think uh, you'll see that eye get worse and worse and uh, possibly could put an end to uh, Don Farrell's challenge against Jeff Fennick. Referee Alan Moore went over at the break to have a talk to John Farrell at the end of the sixth round. He asked him, did he want to continue? There was a wry smile from Farrell. He said, yes, I'll continue on. But I don't know whether Alan Moore will let it continue much further unless Farrell can improve. He comes from a, from a hard... Uh, a hard town, all right, but uh, I bet you he's never been in a street fight as tough as this, believe me. <laughs> Jeff Fennick's hitting him, hitting him everywhere except the soles of the feet, believe me, at the moment. Farrell's taking every left hand that Fennick's throwing at the moment. We're in round seven. Good left hook by Fennick. John Farrell has lasted out everything so far. He's been down twice. He's over in his own corner. On the break. You'll see Fennick try and hit him, and he does. And again, one minute, 20 seconds remaining in the contest. I think it won't be too long before you'll see Alan Moore intervene here. This, this guy's too tough for his own good. He's taking a, a hiding to nothing. In round seven, Farrell refusing to go down. Stop, stop. 
He reminds me of uh, Chris Sanagar, the Englishman that fought Brian Jansen here. He refused to go down. He copped plenty for his corner that night. Some of these Englishmen, mate, they show incredible courage. This guy's no exception. I mean, he's, he's copped a beating and a half. Still on the back move, Farrell. He won't willingly concede, but will Fennec make him concede? That was a good pass. Badly punch. hurt, Farrell. Badly hurt from a body shot and then a right hand. I don't think Alan Moore's finish. going to let this continue for too much longer. He surely can't, he surely can't take much more of that, that body punishment from, uh, from Jeff Fennec. 22 seconds to go in round seven. Right hand from Farrell, very light. Jeff didn't even blink. <laughs> Not a word. I don't think there's been any stage during the fight where Farrell's even, even bothered Jeff one little bit. Come on, John. Less than eight seconds to go in round seven. Farrell on his own corner. Being pounded by Fennec. Of a mess. He's been chopped to pieces here. Fennec, we've had three world bantamweight champs. Barry Michael, Jimmy Carruthers, Lionel Rose. And Jeff Fennick, I don't think the other two uh, would have punched any harder than Jeffrey tonight. Well, mate, they definitely weren't as strong because uh, he, um, he's awesome, Jeff Fennick, with his physical strength. His physical strength is awesome. He'll, he can go in there against any of those top world American band, world rated American bantamweights. Beautiful left jab, the start of the eighth round from Jeff Fennick. And another one. We're in round eight. Alan Moore went to uh, the corner between rounds again to speak to John Farrell, and John Farrell still. With that cheeky grin and said, yeah, I'm OK, no problem. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'd rather, rather him than me at the moment. I'm glad I'm sitting outside watching. Well, Farrell threw two or three punches, but Fennec's uh, defence was to the fore. Left hand from Fennec got through the guard. <laughs> Farrell's face certainly showing worse for wear, but he's still prepared to have a go when he can. Fennec usually fighting to a pattern. He's usually taking the first 30 seconds of each round pretty cosily, and then he steps up the pace. And when he steps up the pace, I'm afraid John Farrell just can't handle it. Right hand from Farrell got through. You'll see Fennec quick on the tempo shortly. It's actually a great, uh, great learning fight for Jeff Fennec. This because he, you know, like most of his fights, finish early. We're now in the eighth round, and uh, Farrell's still in there fighting his heart out, but uh, unfortunately taking a beating off. Uh, off our little dynamo of a champion, Jeff Fennick. Beautiful left hook there by Jeff Fennick. Left hand taken by uh, John Farrell. Over towards Farrell's corner. Trying to get on the back move, Farrell. Trying to stay out of harm's way. Staying away from those piston-like fists of Jeff Fennick. Farrell's face really showing the... Uh, the effects of the, of, the, of the beating he's taking in the previous seven rounds. Fennec trying to go downstairs. Well, what do you do if you're John Farrell? Barry, what's, 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 what's left? Well, honestly, Alan, uh, he, look, look at that. There's some good punches by John Farrell. You've got to give this man credit. But, uh, you know, if you're in his corner, you'd have to tell him to... Uh, Let him go. ...to try and just try and keep away. But as I said, it's an impossibility. Once Jeff decides to get wound up, there's nothing you can do to stop him. Now you can see Fennec starting to increase the tempo in round eight. Farrell doesn't appear to have too many answers. Trying to get off the ropes. Out. Fennec pushing him around. Has him over towards his own corner, does Jeff Fennec. Alan Moore taking a very close look at uh, John Farrell there. I think it's uh, a big possibility this fight will be stopped shortly. His face is just a mask of pain at the moment, John Farrell. You can see the eyes, the, the blows that are being ripped into his body. He's a most courageous fighter, but uh, I don't know what is proving letting him cop more. Well, that's it, Michael, man. When it gets to this stage, it's, uh, it's, it's you know, merely one-way traffic, and I think that, uh, you know, Alan Moore could quite safely step in and stop this fight at this stage without uh, any criticism at all. The final seconds in round eight. Fennec still trying to put away John Farrell's Eddie with a scheduled ten-rounder here at uh, Fight City in Brisbane Festival Hall. Coming to you live, and uh, no one's more lively than Jeff Fennec tonight. Alan Moore, the referee, I suppose, we're just saying there during the break, Barry Michael, uh, what's he do? Does he stop the fight? Does he let this kid, this proud young Englishman, go the dis distance? Because that's obviously what he wants to do. He wants to go back to England and say, I stood up to that world champ, I went the 10 with him. Well, he's in a very cool, very difficult position, uh, Mike, because, I mean, if, if he stops the fight, the, the British camp are no doubt going uh, to criticise his actions. But, uh, I mean, really, I mean, what, this, it's, a, it's a very difficult position for the referee to be in. 
In round nine. That Jeff Fennick must be wondering what it takes to... Oh, the hand was a ripper. Three, four, That's it. Five, six. Carroll gets to his feet, but the right hand... Now's a boomer. It. That's, That's it. it. And there he is, the first man over to Johnny Farrell was in fact Jeff Fennick's marvellous trainer, Johnny Lewis. Just to make sure the boy was all right because he didn't know where he was as Fennick sat him down for the third and final time. And I think it was uh, merciful because if that had gone...